I'll tell you. You just call, let me call back uh, 50 years, not 50 years off of that, and give me about a half pint of liquor, and I get that down, and I let people come alive then, you know. <laughs> That's like trying to start a car on an old bad battery you don't get for, for a dozen. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're doing, man like me. And I'll tell you another photo before I like to see you on the floor. A man by the name of John DeWitt. He goes to these bars and uh, he dance. Now Gander, he was, a, he was a tap dancer, mostly tap dancers, what he does. But I don't know, I never could put uh, John's together. That, that, but he could, he could pat a tune. But he done this patting and dancing all at the same time. And it, it, it really sound good. I, I sat there much him all day. Granny, will you don't bite your hand, tap it, put your fight, shake him up the fence, rake him up the chop, no. Granny, will you don't bite your hand, put your fight, shake him up the fence, rake him up the chop, no. That's what I danced for them. Now, uh, of course, uh, they didn't put the double shuttle in, what they call the drive pork shackle by it. They, they don't like it. Let's see. <laughs> I can't even think of that. I won't go right up there like that. I used to be able to do it, but I can't do it no more. <laughs> I've been to a lot of private homes in this valley. Back mostly out in the country, where people didn't have much to do, you know, no place much to go. They would People get together and say, let's have a little dance. That's how I met my wife. By dancing and then parties. <laughs> <laughs>